Now to start us off, Senior Wealth Advisor Leslie McCormick of the Farwell Group, author of the book Why Every Woman Should Plan to Financially Be Single Even If She's Not, joins us. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Marilyn. I wondered what we were going to talk about today. Well, as you know, I am quite passionate about helping people be confident in their financial knowledge and ability, in particular women, because more women than men struggle or express struggle with a lack of financial confidence. And I must say, maybe they admit it, at least. Unfortunately, for someone who isn't confident about their financial knowledge and ability, confidence doesn't just suddenly happen. Many people are intimidated by investing and financial planning, and sometimes that keeps them from getting the help they need. This is a problem. All too frequently, I hear people say that they feel like they don't know enough, that they might be asking a dumb question, or that there's just too much to learn. I want to offer hope to those people. If you are someone who isn't confident in your financial knowledge or ability, or is confident in some areas but uncertain about others, first of all, know that you're not alone. In fact, I'd say you are in the majority. Most people have similar feelings. They just may not like to admit it. Secondly, confidence is not something that you can get quickly. Rather, the way to gain confidence is a little bit at a time. It builds as you talk about money, as you have small successes along the way with managing money whether that's a bank account or an investment account. But one of the fastest ways to gain confidence is talking with the right advisor. If you want to be financially confident, make sure you have an advisor you feel comfortable talking with. You should feel that you can ask them any question, that you can share your hopes, dreams, and fears, because usually those hopes dreams, and fears most likely have a financial implication. Work with someone who will help increase your understanding, who can and will take the time to explain things in words you understand, not using fancy financial jargon trying to impress or intimidate you. As your understanding grows, your confidence will grow. As you're able to have discussions with your advisor, as they explain different ideas, strategies, the light bulbs start going on. Suddenly, over time, you are able to understand more about money and financial matters, and with that comes confidence. We talk a lot on this show about different strategies that we use. And to illustrate them, we typically share a story of how those strategies are used in practice. What I want to point out today is how each story that we share is an example of someone who generally started out uncertain. They weren't sure about what to do, where they were headed, or concerned about what the future might have in store for them. But what we have found is critical is spending time listening, talking, answering questions, taking time to explain not just a strategy or the results of a plan and recommended next steps, but making sure a client understands them and how it relates to them in their personal circumstances. Each story we share on this show, while we might not overtly point it out each week, is the story of someone who is able to move forward with far more confidence than they came in with. If you don't have an advisor who's willing to help you increase your knowledge, someone you aren't comfortable with, the best thing you can do for your confidence is find someone who you can be more comfortable with. Maybe it is Darren or I, or maybe it's someone else. The biggest thing is, if you want to move forward confident in your finances, the fastest way to do it is by talking to the right advisor. 
Oh, Leslie, I'm taking a breath because in this COVID fatigue time, a lot of us feel like we're swimming without a life jacket and we need confidence and we need to understand that we can have some control. And money usually is right next to health. We want our health and then we want to make sure that we have enough money to get us by. So if someone wants to talk to you and gain an understanding of whether they're on the right path and if their future is going to lead them to a good outcome, how do we reach you? You can give us a call at 416-863-7501. 416-863-7501. The Farwell Group, the contact information is on my website, marylins.ca. And it's about taking steps forward. Small steps, guided steps. We take a child by the hand and we walk at their speed so that they can gain the confidence to run and enjoy life. It's the same thing now with your money matters. Find someone that will hold your hand and take you step by step, taking time to explain so that you won't be uncertain about your future. The Farwell Group does that. Leslie and Darren are there for you, plus their whole team of experts. 416 416- Eight six three seven five zero one. Thank you, Leslie. It makes me feel hopeful to know that anyone that's listening can have the help they need in this day and time of uncertainty. Thanks again. You're welcome, Marilyn. Thank you.